What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we have another Game of Thrones the Card Game second edition tournament video for you. We are in the top four single elimination rounds at the Millennium Games Store Championship 2017 held in Rochester, New York. On the left we have John playing House Tyrell, Kings oh, no. of Summer, setting up Marjorie Tyrell. <laughs> no, no. And I think a bodyguard there and looks like uh, the Arbor. And on the other side, we have Matt. He's playing a Lannister, a Banner of the Stag, starting off with Crescent in play, Chamber of the Painted Table, and interestingly, Small Council Chamber, three cost location, immune to events. That, I believe, is the one that, after you win an Intrigue Challenge, that location gains some power. And as you can see there, uh, at the bottom of the screen, they have the... Uh, Fan favorite prize, the uh, poison token there for Tears of Lease. Everyone loves that, that token, I'm sure. I've, I've heard a lot of people raving about it on the internet. <laughs> Sorry. I'll choose using my opponent. Okay, thanks. So, winner of this will move on to the finals of the store championship. And I believe there's about 20 players here. 20 at least. There might have been more, but uh, for sure there was 20. Minimum. Well, they threw a cereal <laughs> down there showing uh, oh what they're playing for here. <laughs> you got to be careful now, you're playing for it all. <laughs> so we have Summer Harvest uh, was the plot opened with here on the Tyrell side of things into uh, Noble Cause, of course, from the uh, Lannister player, having the Lords and Ladies. Looks like uh, Matt, who's going first Lannister player, plays a Western Chiefdom. Is that the deck dance? <laughs> the chamber? It's yeah, the chamber. Yeah. That's my guess. Uh, one, two, three. Four. It's a Lannister character. That's a good start. It is. That's what you want to see. Is that five? Well, six, seven. Oh, it's seven. Well, I guess that's Tywin. And we got Cersei from Lions of the Rock. Expansion with a duplicate. She's one who does not need to attack in entry challenges. She has a reaction. She gains some power. Every time a card is discarded from your opponent's hand, that includes discarding for taxation, other card effects. You see John, the Tyrell play there uh, with his Arbor just dropping all the gold, especially with Summer Harvest getting him seven gold right there. So the Garden Caretaker and a Rose Garden. And is that King Renly's host? King Renly's host has intimidate and no attachments. They are an army and unique for strength. While there is a summer plot card revealed, they get plus four strength. While there is a winter plot card revealed, they cannot be declared as an attacker. I believe that's King Renly's pavilion out there. Yeah, that is King Renly's pavilion, the other location there. So that one action, you can kneel King Renly's pavilion to choose two characters until the end of the phase. One of those characters gets minus one strength, the other one gets plus one strength. So nice little map swing in the tunnel. We've got a hedge knight out there now on the Tyrell side. So interestingly, the uh, Lancer player decided to put uh, the only Cersei out character-wise. He's only got two characters. I mean, he does have a dupe, so there's a slim chance that he'll be left in a position to have a march played on him and clear his entire board. But you never know. Two gold sitting on the Tyrell side. He's got enough military strength out there. He can easily win a military by five looking at the board right now. And can jam a put to the sword uh, right through Crescent's head if he wants. And then uh, March Cersei the following round. But is he playing March to the Wall? That's the question. Growing strong. So growing strong is being played right now. Plus two strength on three Tyrell characters. So I'm assuming the Garden Caretaker, Marjorie Tyrell, and the King Renly's host uh, getting played again. So they're getting a uh, four strength buff each. And it looks like uh, Marge Tyrell will fully block Cersei. That's not something you usually see. Didn't even need to use the King Renly's pavilion. She just blocked straight up seven to six. So over to the Hedge Knight now doing a military challenge on the Tyrell side. Unopposed, of course, Cersei's duplicate goes away for claim. Unopposed power gained on the Tyrell side. Power challenge. 
So we have a summer plot reveal, so they're plus four, plus the other plus four from the two growing strongs you see in there in the discard pile on the bottom left. So they're coming in for 12 power. More than uh, we see on the Lancer side right now. Oh, you gave it extra. Yeah. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong. I think that, I think that was a waste, but I like my cards in my hand. Yeah, so playing those two two growing strongs you heard Jones just say there. Might have been a waste for him to play those, but uh, he likes the other cards in his hand. So dump those two cards, I guess, to protect. Makes sense, I guess. You can have dominance. I don't want to take the chance. That's the thing, like, you get to do something, right? You get a power when you get a character? If I discard a card. So dominance goes to Lancer player, chamber to pay a table, stealing a power, so... Even though he's got less characters out there, didn't really do many challenges, got fully stuffed, didn't win a single challenge. He is ahead on power. Two to zero right now for the Lancers. Chamber of the Painted Table, people. So, first heads on spikes here we see. Played by Matt. Into time of plenty. Got a 50 -50 shot, buddy. I saw that heads on spikes. I believe Matt's playing two of them, if I remember correctly, from, from a previous video. And, uh. Yeah, go back, go back and watch Matt's last game uh, in round four. Uh, you can see who the players are in the descriptions of the videos, but yeah, go to, go to the round four videos, one of the two videos there. Uh, just go watch Matt's game. It's a good, good ending for that one. If you haven't already seen it. I like to be accommodating. So heads on Spike Smith there and got Heart Spain. Uh, but due to the card being discarded, working with heads on Spikes, I guess. Yeah, because you discard it and then uh, move it to the dead pile if it's character. So I guess Cersei Lancer works for that and she can react. And that's why she's got a Targaryen power token on her face right now. So time of plenty. Got them three cards each. Lancer player marshalling right now. Got four gold. He uses his Western Chieftains to get uh, Sir Lancel Lannister out there. Who uh, only has one Lancer Lord or Lady out there with him, as long as he has only one other, which he does, is Cersei right now. He's basically copying her strength, so he's not zero strength. For two bucks, he's a six strengther right now. That's pretty good. That's it. This is an entry back on. That's all I got. Sure. And Lancer player's going to sit on three gold and a handful of cards. Interesting. Second Garden Caretaker out there, both of them kneeling on the Tyrell side for his marshalling. He's knelt his Rose Garden to pay for him. And Brienne of Tarth does not kneel to defend while you control another King character. And she's got Renown and then an Arbor Knight. So seven characters to three marshaled out now on the board. And uh, due to the Arbor, uh, we got some excess economy there. On the Tyrell side, five gold saved, looks like it. So, Intrigue Challenge, Cersei doesn't yield to attack, six strength. Carbonite's blocking for one, and he's going to pay some gold here to raise his strength by three. So, he's four strength now. And we got a treachery canceling the Marge buff there. He's trying to get the Arbor Knight in range to actually block Cersei. And uh, Marjorie's now knelt looking like an idiot due to being canceled by a treachery. And uh, yeah, so the Arbor Knight will just block the unopposed basically. And also, three gold goes down the toilet, wasted on the Arbor Knight. Unless you're trying to stop the win by five for some reason. But there we go. First power on small council chamber after winning an entry challenge. And Cersei gets another power on her from a card discard there. And that was Lady Sansa's Rose. So that's the type of deck we got here. The Tyrell Rush, Kings of Summer, Knights and Ladies. I'm gonna jam the wind down your throat. Quicker. So Nightmares on King Renly's Host. I guess for military. And we got a six block from uh, Sir Lance Lannister. So six to four makes the win on the Lancer side, but he turns it to five five off of the uh, 
King Renly's Pavilion. So Ty goes the attacker and Lancel dies for claim there. <laughs> Bait and doing a power challenge here. Oh no. Oh, I guess it was a power challenge. What? Oh, it's sorry. The Hedge Knight has, uh, he's turned on by another knight being in play. My bad. And uh, he's got power, so he's got a power coming in. Oh, like lead nine, I think. Because the Hedge Knight just gets a, no, he gets a buff. And it's been a while since I played that guy. As you can tell, I'm sure. I like those guys when they first came out. I guess the best way to play these games is without, any without a hand. You just play all your cards Turn right away. Yeah, yeah Hedge Knight, they get plus one strength and a power icon. Sorry, guys, when uh, another knight's out. So coming in on the power challenge here for eight. Who needs cards? Who needs them? Uh, I will block with. Uh, but uh, Lance Player just wants some dominance. So he does not care. He just blocks the unopposed. And then that uh, power claim just comes back from Painted Table. So that power challenge really did nothing for him other than get a renown on Brienne of Tarth. And now Lancer player is up six to one. All the economy, all the board presence is on the Tyrell side, but all the power, which uh, funny thing is needed to win the game, is on the Lannister side. So it's a quality over quantity thing, I think, here in the cards on the board. <laughs> spend it all, spend it all. Yeah, what the Gone, eh? We're gonna use some treacheries and some nightmares there to win some challenges, I guess. Good. You're not gonna head some spikes, yeah? No. We got wildfire. Ooh, a juicy wildfire. Into Song of Summer gonna be plus one to all the characters on the Tyrell side. And a summer plot buffing up those that King Renly's host, assuming they stick around after the wildfire here. So we got Brianna Tarth, Marjorie Tyrell, the bodyguard, and King Renly's host sticking around in play. And a bunch of chuds just getting cleared off the board there. And I think the Tyrell player John there is uh, top decking right now. I think he's only got two cards in hand, so he's playing his plots, not knowing what he's going to draw. But yeah, he's feeling okay about having the economy of what to play. But the master player's done a good job of plucking cards out of his hand, keeping his options limited. So Crescent now is a dupe. But did I get a good character? But did you get a good character? It's all a good character, so it's fine. Four gold in the Western fiefdoms there. Uh, Western fiefdoms knelt. <laughs> John doesn't know who that character is. I forget who that character is. That is not one you see normally. So pleasure barge here on the Tyrell side. I'm gonna draw a bunch of cards here. Try to spend that gold. We're built up here. Got Tyrion on the other side though. With some stealth, gonna be gaining some uh, money now off the intrigue. Maybe placing his cards on as the player's been holding. Some tricks, hopefully. All at 12? Can't play them all. Or a penna. Or a duo. Raiders, 
Brianna Tarth what's turned on. She doesn't kneel to defend. That's what's happening. Just to make me feel and good. another hedge knight out there on the Tyrell side. Looking a little gross. Or just built right back up there off of Pleasure Barge. Plus all the economy. Popping a King's Road, of course. I don't think any cards left in hand on the Tyrell side. He's just saying, screw you, Cersei. I don't want you to get any uh, any reaction off me discarding cards. Uh, do it. Oh, you figured it out. I did. I got it. I got it. Finally. Yes, you should have had an action. Uh, so, Intrigue Challenge. Tyrion gains his two gold. Selfing, I think. King Renly there. I got one. No defenders. It's unopposed power and triggers the uh, small council chamber. But uh, Tanda Stokeworth is the character out on the board. I don't know who that was. Three for three power icon. Unique lady reaction after you marshal her. Each player gains three gold. Should have caught that. So. Oh, you figured it out. Just unopposed. I have power now. You got it. Do I give you four more gold? Well, my answer player is up to eight power right now. I think I need to draw cards. Oh, but then you got to There's still heads on spikes again. They're talking about the pass and their challenge. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to win. Oh, John, the Tyrell player on the left, traveled down from Hamilton. Oh, Branford, uh, is where he's from, actually, plays with us in Hamilton, Ontario. About a three hour drive uh, north of Rochester, New York, here. Or west, I guess, kind of. I'm sorry. Hamilton's west of Rochester, is what I'm trying to say. And Matt on the right is from the Rochester area, I believe. This is his, uh, his stomping grounds. We stormed down last year during the store championships, and uh, I took that one. And then we came back during regionals, and a friend of the channel, a guy who's on, uh, you know, my senior card spoiler correspondent on my spoiler videos for Game of Thrones cards, uh, Kevin Austin, took the regional last year. And, uh, we'll see if the Rochester boys can uh, defend us, quote unquote, Hamilton boys. I'm coming down and stealing another one. And coming soon is the, uh, I believe on May 27th, that weekend, two-day event at the same store, Millennium Games in Rochester, New York. So if you're able to get there, you're in the area, or you can, it's not too far to travel, I guess. Come on down. I can't save them either. We will all be there. Now the Tyrell player is in at uh, three power on his characters, four on his house, up to seven. Lannister player. I can't really see that location there, but it looks like he's sitting I think, at seven also. I don't think I can be a heads on spikes. I actually have to think about it. It's in a tie game here. I'm waiting for it. So, second heads on spikes. I'll reveal my cards. It's uh, King Renly. We got close call. I'll say him too. <laughs> Who's going first? I do have that so, <laughs> so the Lancer player is choosing to go first. And King Renly gets hit. Move to the dead pile. Two power gained on the Lancer side. Shooting him up to nine power. And close call will move King Renly out of the dead pile. Into the discard pile. Again, the Tyrell player top decking here, basically, and he's just going to probably crap out whatever he gets. Just keep flooding the board. He's already seen what he thinks is the only reset in Wildfire. Already played by his opponent, so I don't know if he's got one of his own, but doesn't seem like it's that kind of deck that he cares to have one. Looks like his game plan is just to crap out better and more stuff than you. We're gonna dupe our uh, lady in waiting, I guess, on Brianna Tarth. Uh, that's what I'm yeah, Unfortunately, can I play all the cards? Oh, nice! I love it. 
Guys, make sure you hit that like button on these videos if you like these videos. Help other people find them. Help them pop up in the search results. So, while well, you're just sitting there watching this video, if you don't mind, I'd really like it if you hit that like button. Really appreciate it. And if you're new here and you know, it's the first time seeing the channel, hit that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. Both free. And if you want to donate, you can do so at Rob's Gaming Table on Patreon.com. More tournament videos coming up for sure. Hitting up some regionals, so some regional videos will be coming to the channel. Stay tuned for those. And we got the Intrigue Challenge starting off here from Cersei Lancer, of course. Not kneeling. We've got King Renly coming in for the block. Of course, King Renly's Pavilion. Switching a couple strength there. And stuffing the challenge. He's getting renowned. So we've got some defensive blockage here. Maybe the that will help the Tyrell player get ahead here. And he pulled a loyal card. Flashed it there and uh, got to draw another card off of King Renly's reaction when he draws from Insight. Gets a loyal card. If he reveals it, he can draw another one. So he's got card draw going, economy crushing, and a big, beautiful board presence here. He should be able to turn this around, we hope. Yeah, like, this is player this doesn't really mean playing too much or finding the cards in ease, and he's holding on to gold. It's a new job. Not really playing anything, keeping up with the Tyrell player here, in my opinion. Rob St. John's gaming table. No defenders on the military challenge. Dupe off of Cersei. Ghost for claim. Yeah, it was a nice stop there. Pretty proud of myself. I think, uh, may I even win the challenge? Oops. Oops, it is. Now you're seven, uh, a lot. <laughs> so, Brandon Sarth coming out on a power challenge here. Five strength. Marge is out there to add three to it, if, if you'd like. Maybe trying to get the full block here and kneeling out the suite of characters. And maybe still win dominance and not lose the power also to the Chamber of the Painted Table. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. You played two strong strongs already. We got Marge is a three if not used, and the Edge Knight's another three, so that's six. For the dominance, but we got four gold saved on the other side. I'm not sure. I think it's at least two gold saved on the Tyrell side. We got the buff to win the power challenge. Brianna Tarth gets a power, claims a power. Lancer player down to looks like nine power right now. Tyrell player sitting now. We got five, six, eleven power. Oh, seven plus. Yeah, you got. And dominance goes to the Tyrell player. Stops that uh, painted table. So slowly uh, taking over the game here on the Tyrell side. I like, well, making the comeback, I guess. I'll stand my characters when I'm goddamn ready to stand my character. You missed the standing phase. It's over. I think you got me here. Nothing I can do. I don't know what. How the off one? Those are you. Maybe that uh, wildfire was played a little too early. I don't know. He's been able to stop the Tyrell player here. We'll see what initiative, what way the initiative goes. And we got Winter Festival played into Attorney for the King. Everyone on the fucking stream is like this fucking idiot. Play Tyrell Summer like a fucking chump. Moron. I'll go first. Okay. And you got the Tyrell player choosing to go first. He's gonna try to rush across the finish line here. Must be my day. I think got the renown to do it. The strength on the board to do it for sure. It's only five. Let's see what, he, let's see what he's got here. He's got some cards in hand now. He's got, got quite a bit of money. And of course, he sees. Oh, but there's a winter plot, so. A night of summer isn't as good, that's for sure. You got that good, good stuff? Nope. I was one gold short of playing anything effective all game. Oh, yeah, you got it. And yeah, he's just going to concede there, and it goes to John from the Hamilton area. Ramford, technically, takes it, and he's going to the finals.
stay tuned. We've got the other video coming up from the top four on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Like I said, hit that little alarm bell button beside uh, to be notified when the next videos go up and when we go live here. As you can see, all the awesome people who donate on Patreon, scrolling by on the screen there. You guys are all amazing. Thanks for watching. All the support. You guys are the reasons why I do this and the reason why we see these videos. So keep subscribing, liking, donating, sharing, all that stuff. It's all very helpful. Thank you, guys. So, yeah. See who John plays in the finals. Watch that next video coming up. The winner of that, they'll play off. And uh, who will be the sore champion for uh, Millennium Games 2017? We'll find out, guys. See you in the next video.